Hey, how's it going friends? Today I'm going to do a short Lightroom tutorial on how to get an old timey vintage look to your photo. And I swear this one's actually under five minutes. It's quick and easy. I go over a lot of info in that time period, but it is an easy thing to do to pretty much any photo. And this includes the yellowing, the grain, as you probably saw from the thumbnail, and the white or black picture frame, depending on what you want to do with it. So enough talking, let's get to it. So today it's going to be a super duper fast tutorial. I'm going to take this photo from this nice normal looking photo to this vintage, very, very old looking photo. So the first thing I'm going to do is convert it to black and white, go down here to black and white and pull up the red channel to 32 and the orange channel to 22. And what I'm doing is I'm just lightening the skin here. Uh, and then also, this is a matter of preference, but you can either darken the greens, uh, just, just uh, we're, we're basically crushing colors or blowing out colors here. So I'm gonna blow out the green, and then I'm just gonna leave the rest of the colors alone. There's, uh, there's not really any blue in the sky, so I'm not gonna mess with that. But ordinarily, I would darken the sky, uh, the aqua and the blue. And actually it is doing something. So I'm gonna pull that down. You can see, now you can see the clouds. So I'm gonna pull that those all the way down. And then I'm gonna move on to the split toning. And you're gonna to wanna to type in 60 for the highlights and 60 for the shadows. And then pull this up ever so slightly. I have 18 for the highlights and 14 for the shadows. Then here is where we're really gonna get our looks and the effects. Depending on if you want a black frame or a white frame, pull it all the way down or all the way up. I'm gonna pull it all the way up and pull the feather down to zero. Pull the roundness all the way down and then pull my midpoint all the way down. And you don't need to pull it all the way down. You can have a thinner frame if you want. I just like the, the nice big thick white frame around the whole photo. Uh, it just reminds me of old photos that I've seen like this. And then just start with your grain all the way up, roughness all the way up, and then your size. I usually be land between 40 and 50, and this all depends on the resolution of your photo anyway. This is a 30 megapixel photo. Uh, lower and higher resolutions, it'll depend. You'll have to play with it to get the right grain. But I want a lot of grain. So there, there's the size at 39 and the roughness at 100. I ordinarily use the roughness all the way up to get that kind of random grain. And then I mess with the amount. And I have it at 34, I'm gonna go a little bit higher, 46. And still, you can still make out details, but you can definitely see the grain. Even in the small photo, you can sort of see the grain. Then I'm gonna go up here to tone curve and make a three point curve. I'm gonna pull the shadows up a little bit, just enough to fade the black so they're not pure black. And I'm gonna pull the, the whites down just to, to smooth them out a little bit so there's no pure white. The only pure white uh, is the highlights on our skin really. And uh, because we intentionally are blowing that out, we're, we're blowing the highlights out. And if you want to lighten it a little bit, just pull up on the midtones. You'll see that it's just a kind of sort of almost like pulling out the shadows. And then I'm going to go up here to my main adjustments and just pull up the exposure a little bit and pull out the shadows. I could probably leave this exposure at zero. And there's your look. So if I reset this other one, this is the before. And this is the after. Nice, quick and easy vintage look for any photo. And I suggest, it's hard for me to do this to any photo, especially when it's good like that. I, I really like the colors and everything. So just make sure you make a virtual copy. You just right click and hit create virtual copy. And that'll make another copy. And then you can export this version and this version. So that's it. That's a quick and easy vintage photo look. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section of this video. Please subscribe and tell your friends. And remember, create, share, repeat, and keep it awesome. I'll see you next time.